Hey YouTube, sorry about the weird lighting. My ring light that I use is broken, so I'm gonna have to get a new one. So it may be a little kind of weird for the next couple days. But we are gonna talk about um, Eradicate because I use this Pokemon multiple times every season and every single season I do so well with it. And it's still rank 145 and even in the battles, it doesn't sim well, but it's it plays better than it sims because um, it has pretty much everything going for it. Realistically, you have 107 attack 130 defense, 145 stamina, so like on par with some of these like low like lanterns and stuff like that, like low attack, high defense, high stamina, over 2,000 stat products. So right off the bat, you're looking great. In terms of move set, you have a quick attack which does three damage per turn, four energy per turn. So not the best, but you're on par when you go over to here. You're uh, on par, so you are right here at four and two and a half. You are uh, basically a mirror of Powder Snow and Vine Whip, right? So it's a pretty good fast move in and of itself. Uh, and then because it charges at four energy per turn, you get to a stab crunch, same type of attack bonus crunch, uh, at six, 45 energy for 84 damage, 1.87 with a 30% chance of lowering your opponent's defense. And then I've got return on this, which is a nuke at 70 energy. 70 is a coin up a lot. It's nine to get there, but uh, 156 damage because you get same type attack bonus on that. So you're doing a nuke at 2.23. So like, I like the stat product. I like the the move sets. Typing is an interesting one because for the most part, it has been a hindrance because it's double weak to fighting. Um, and fighters have dominated the meta for many, many seasons. But fighters aren't around as much anymore. Um, and with so many poisons, I feel like fairy has also decreased. So I feel like this should play better. Now, when you look at the the um sims 17 to 23 with a 461 average is not amazing quite honestly um yes you're gonna get killed by fairies and anything that has a fighting move so superpower malamar chestnut machamps like just t like obviously you're gonna lose those um but you also said you lose to some of the main meta claude sire um jump pluff gastron so i can't just be like Oh, you need to go use this thing right now because it's so amazing. Because it does not sim well, but I, I feel like it plays better than it sims. And we're going to take a look at some battles here. Uh, basically, it should. I used uh, Cloud Sire because I have not used it. I probably got Cloud Sire I have not used yet, basically, in this meta. Maybe like my first matchups is the only time I use them. So now I'm just going to use them with a rat. Um, and you have the poison on Cloud Sire to help deal with the fighting, right? So, um, neutral ish lead, you resist the rock on um rollout but you do get hit with super effective drill runs here but because you're so bulky and it is a non-stab drill run and it is um uh, you you live a couple not only am i not getting light it feels like this is like greasy okay that was a bit greasy too but now you just get the awkward shadow sorry very annoyed um they land the second drill run I get to the Earthquake. So this Earthquake will take out. Just going straight Earthquake, I think, is the right play. No point of getting cute. Like, let's just take this out. Uh, out comes for Alligator. Sludge Bomb allows you to get to a move quicker than Stone Edge. So just being able to ch chip with a Smudge Bomb or grab a Shield. Pretty good scenario. They do have a lot of energy. So in this mirror match, um, it's going to be whatever. You're... Because they're going to get a shield right back and they're still going to have basically the same amount as energy of you. Even slightly more. So you have a slight advantage just because they are already low that basically 100 will take them out. And out comes a wall rain. Um, and I'm not rushing out just yet because I know claws are neutral. And um, the icicle spear is resisted. So they end up throwing a move. And at this point then I'll get into a rat and just start getting ahead on energy here and so basically i just want to come out with a crunch and this is where you're just going to see the bulk of this thing just come through right so not worried about any move here take that out comes the for alligator we'll get this crunch off and again it's not the it's a pr it's a good move overall you're going to see the crunches pretty quickly um so by the time they get to back to back hydros here i'll just shield one and i'll get a crunch off take this out and I'll quick attack down. So I always do well with it. I'm going to put it in thumbnail. I'm going to put it in title. Even though people don't generally click on this Pokemon when I use it. 
Um, but I'll try and hype it up. Again, same match we just saw. And again, I'm just going to go double Earthquake here. So we are taking our time this season. Um, I'm still at like ace, but I've only I'm only playing three to five matches a day, uh, and I'm fine with that. I'm not in a rush, so we'll just keep it going. Try some teams here and there, and then we'll make a push sort of mid to late season. Okay, so same thing going with the second earthquake. This will take out again if they don't if they let it go, which they did. This is not it. I swear this is not the same matchup. They will come in with. I swear this is not the same matchup. So I will go with a sludge bomb. Last time they shield, I'm pretty sure they let this one go. Yes, see, and it's not a shadow. So it is a different matchup. They let it go. I lose a shadow claw there because of that stupid um, either half second delay coming in or the spinning there. So I'm half a claw behind where I should be here. Not half a claw behind, I'm a full claw behind where I should be. Um, So we're going to throw this Hydro here. This will take out. Claude Sire does come in. So I am going to grab both shields right away. So there's one. Here's two. And then I don't want to get farmed down. So I'll just come in right with Radicate. So now this is where it was tricky. Because like, okay. I don't think... Return takes out fully, but I don't think two crunches do either. I think you probably need to land a crunch and a return. So, if I, as you can see, I shield up one earth, we're going to take the other, and I'm at like two crunches. So, I'm like, maybe let's just see, maybe I get a lowering of the defense or something with this attack that I could take it out, but I do not. Uh, but that is okay, just same thing. The, the spamminess of this thing is pretty good with the four energy per turn move. So we'll land the return to take out Claude Sire for the win there. Okay, Gastron, terrible lead. Fralligator is obviously your safe swap on this team uh, to get hit with a Chestnut. So pretty rough, but I will get to the Ice Beam and I'll grab a shield because they will almost 100% want to keep Switch here. And we see MP there, so that's great. So they get off the superpower. Interesting. Maybe they were trying to outpace me to the move and they just thought that they could like get there first with the suit power as opposed to a frenzy where I would outpace, but end up taking it out. I will throw a move. I don't really want to take a second frenzy, even though their attack is lowered by one. So now instant swap, and now I'm gonna have to try and go two shield here. They are at an earth power, so I have to respect it and I get baited. And this is not the only time this happened with this Pokemon. I got baited multiple times here. And Drapion is actually very tough for this Pokemon because Quick Attack is neutral, but you need to land the return. But the problem is you need to take nine Quick Attacks to get to the return. So if they shield it, you're in trouble because these poison things are adding up and they're going to just outpace me to the move. So I think I end up shielding because I'm at a return. I want to take this out. But that just leaves a full health Gastrodon essentially against my Claude Sire. And they baited me, so they definitely have energy. So I do get to move Earthquake, but it's not enough to take out. And they will get to um, a couple moves here, I think. I think there's Mud Shot, Mud Slap to Body Slam range, and then you just go back to back Body Slams. <coughs> Excuse me. So back to back body slams here. All right, Claude Sire into Togemaru. Love it, but sorry. Sorry, opponent. Love that you're using it, but not in a good. Oh, yeah, this is. I'm pretty sure I labeled this easy because I think I just hard countered the lead and the switch, and then it's like a neutral back line. So I am basically going to try to, no matter what, keep switch here because quick attack is resisted by the steel and I best it's neutral crunch but Claude Sire just absolutely walls every single move on Togedemire which is why I have not used it this season yet because with Claude Sire's on so many teams it's tough to use and you actually get outpaced 
Oh no, I guess you, you uh, both take five, and I guess you'll win CMP. Uh, and they have a Quagsire in the back. So again, yes, sort of neutral, but this is where you're just gonna see the ball come through, right? You're just. Ugh. Pass Dan, stop making me look like an idiot. Okay, you can take moves here. I'm surprised I didn't just. Oh, I, I do know why I should. I do know why I shielded. I shielded because um, I essentially do not need any shields for Claude Sire on Togemaru. So if I can basically just take that out with Radicate, just try and potentially shield the nuke and just take it out with Radicate or chip it low enough that I can point this thing down, then I don't really need to care about Claude Sire versus Togemaru. So that, that was the thought process in the moment. Um, yeah, so Dugon lead, terrible lead, so I'm going to get out into my Fralligator. Uh, they're not throwing yet, so I'm going to chip. See if I shield the drill run up or just let it go in case they bait. I do just let it go, just to not count and have them get to a move here, um, which I then need to shield. But of course it's going to be an icy win because I'm in the red and that will take me out anyways. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But claws are adding up. This is low enough. This Hydro will take out. So I'm going to grab a shield or take out, and it does take out. So out comes a Quagsire that will chip, which is good. I don't need my Claude Sire on it, but right now they have Dugong, and um, they have Dugong Quagsire. I'm giving up Switch here. It's a bit risky, but I'm giving up Switch because I just do not want them to far on my Feraligator and come out with like two moves. See, I can take a Stone Edge with ease, and then they come in Malamar. Now Malamar has Suit Power, which will one-shot, but it also has... Psy wave and foul play, which is not going to do anything. So these side are doing nothing because I'm double resistant with dark. I get off two crunches, that'll grab a shield. Um, and I'm well aware of my switch timer. So I let it go and then go foul play. And then I'm like, okay, if you're gonna go foul play, I will now just catch the next move on Claude Sire. And that next move is a superpower. So they threw a resistive foul play and then decided to go superpower secondly or second, but then they, um, I caught it. <laughs> so that was good. And I get an earthquake off. So my opponent, I don't know if they threw this matchup, but, um, try and go for the farm down. Not going to get it. Uh, so I am going to shield. Do I bank this move or do I throw it just to take this out? I do throw it just to take this out. Not being fully aware of their energy, quite honest, their health. I thought they were low, and then I'm like, oh, no, you're not low at all. And then I get farmed down. I'm like, okay. And then I get to move here because they're not aware of my energy. So a little all over the place there, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, for Alligator, pretty bad lead. And at best, I got to go into mirror match. So I think I'm maybe try and catch the Hydro. Yeah. You catch it on one of two. You catch it on right on five, or you catch it when they try and CMP you on Sludge Bomb. So, and now we'll see who wins CMP. And I do, even though I have a zero attack. So that's kind of interesting. So I won CMP. They let it go, which means that I can shield and farm down and take switch, which is not a bad idea. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So they let me farm them down, take switch, and it is a Cresselia. Now, the frustration part is the recommended move set right now is uh, Leaf Blade or Grass Knot or whatever the grass move is and Future Sight. So I thought, great, Future Sight's double resisted. They have a Moonblast. I'm like, okay, crap, that's not good. So they probably have a Moonblast, Grass Knot, I think it is. So I hit them with the crunch uh, and then I'll come in here. I pray that they're not running double nukes, and they're not, so they're running Grass Knot here. So unfortunately, because they are running Moonblast, uh, kind of caught me off guard on the on that matchup there. I do have more energy than this thing, so I already landed one Earthquake. And this is where, again, just being aware of your switch clock, the 50 second switch clock, really makes a difference. So they use an Earthquake, I'll shield, I'm going to use an Earthquake, and either take it out or grab a shield myself. And then, hello, switch clock, 50 second already done. I'm going to try and catch this move um, or force their energy. 
knowing that I have almost an earthquake to take them out. So they do land a stone edge and then they come and try and snipe, but you are not going to snipe with a double resisted psycho cut from a Cresselia. So I do end up getting to a crunch to take it out. Uh, and then because I have so much energy from the first time, I get to an earthquake. So A-Rat is definitely putting in some work in this on this team. Just got its bulk. It's got some nice matchups. Um, decent spam. Guzzlord. I'm going straight Sludge Bomb because Guzzlord's pre... It's got a lot of HP, but it takes a lot of damage from charge moves. I don't think Earthquake one-shots... And so I don't want to risk it, so I'd rather just go two Sludge Bombs, which I know are basically going to take it out. I may need to do a couple Poison things here and there, yeah. So I do need to do one or two more Poison, two more, probably, probably two more. That one there that just registered, maybe one more. Yeah. But I'll win Switch in the zeros. So we take that, we'll take the Switch, let's see what comes in. For Alligator, I'm only going to get to one move. I'll try the Earthquake, right? If I'm only going to get to one, I will... Let's see if I instant swap or yeah, I'm doing again. I do not want to just take three more claws unnecessarily. And for alligator is just such a good sway safe swap. There's no point of just taking those extra three claws and land them come out with like seven or eight claws worth of hydros, like energy to get to the hydros when you only need five. So shield up one, take one. This time I lose CMP. So they got to throw first. But I should be able to outpace here, throw right here. And they make a nice catch, but the catch is on Miltank, so it's not like it's a resisted move. So that's still neutral. And then, yes, coming in here. And again, this is where the spamminess, it's already in crunch range, and the bulk comes in. I don't need to worry about these moves at all. So hit them with the crunch. Take it out. Out comes for alligator. I've got a shield left. There we go. Okay, Quagsire, terrible lead. Kind of come in here. I thought they may have Mud Bomb. So I'm like, they're throwing. They're definitely going to just chip with Mud Bomb. And they throw a resisted Aqua Tail. I give people too much credit. I give people too much credit when it comes to these things. I run Mud Bomb, Aqua Tail. The recommended moveset is Stone Edge. I thought that maybe they'd be running Mud Bomb too. But they just baited me with an Aqua Tail, which is annoying. Uh, unfortunately, the double claws being resisted on Dunsparce here are also going to cause some problems. So I have to commit to a double shield. And if you've seen me rip people in the comments before, uh, I hate, I hate double shielding. And I understand Claw Cyrus is going to get killed and I still give up switch. What am I doing? I'm doing everything that I would just rip myself apart, rip a subscriber apart for. I double shielded the mid game which I don't think you should ever double shield unless it's like an absolute wall in the front and an absolute wall in the back and you need to switch, then you can. Um, and again, Clawsire will get killed by Quagsire, but you don't know what's in the back yet. So going two shields is just, I don't think the right move. And then going two shields just to end up giving, giving up switch anyways is also a pretty stupid decision. So now their Claude Sire is loaded with energy. I need to take, I have no shields. I need to take either an Earthquake on the Claude Sire or be taken out on the Fralligator. So I'm like, okay, I'll just take it here. But this is not a good matchup. I mean, it's tough alignment anyways, let, like, let's be honest, but still. It was not a good play out here. So we'll go to hand here and I think I got one more matchup. I will, so decent lead. I mean, yeah, decent lead. Cloud Sire comes in, so I go straight into my Feraligator, just knowing that I think I should be able to significantly outpace with the Shadow Claw Hydros. Next week is um, Great League, excuse me, Great League and Galar Cup, just Great League Edition. So the Galar Cup has um, a lot of similar Pokemon. So the top 20 Pokemon, just so you can see it right now, is Galarian Weezing, Shadow Dish, Shadow, which I actually did not have a Shadow um, coughing. 
I thought I had one, but I did not, so I didn't even get to evolve it. Diggersby, Mandibuzz, Clefable, Toxpex, Togetic, Gastrodon, Quagsire, Ninetales, Drapion, Dust Noir, A Ninetales, Quailfish, Gallade, Pangoro, Driftblim, Quagsire, Whimsicott, right? Go Lurk. So it's a lot of the same Pokemon, but just more limited. Um, so I guess you're not seeing like Claude Sire and stuff that you're just a couple that you're seeing open in Great League here. Let me know what you're going to play down below. So write a comment whether you're going to play Great League or the Galar Cup or combo both. Because I'm trying to figure out what to showcase next week. My gut is telling me do 90% Great League, maybe 10% Galar Cup. And do like Galar Cup on like the first couple days. So I'll do like top teams tomorrow for both for Great League and the cup so that'll come out tuesday because that's league turnover day and then wednesday i think we'll probably do one of each and then i'll just kind of honestly i'll base it off views quite honestly i know great league is just so like it's it's not even close the great league views compared to any other league views like great league is always significantly higher even limited cups like this maybe if it's like a cool one like halloween cup and stuff like that i feel like halloween will couple get views if, it, if i don't know if it goes against great league um what is the Halloween Cup going to go against this season? The Halloween Cup. So Sunshine Cup. Halloween Cup Little Edition. Yeah. I guess. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Great League Remix. So October 22nd to 29th is the Halloween Cup and Great League Remix. Now, the Great League Remix, if you saw my video when this league came out, still has like 10 Pokemon from last season that are no longer relevant. Um, Polyrath, Lickitung, Lantern, Quagsire, Gligar, Mantine, Skarmory, Altaria, Whiskash, um, Annihilate. There's 10 out of your 20 that are essentially useless. So it's going to be kind of like an open Great League without. The other 10, and the other 10 are A Sandslash, Wiggly, Dugong, Typhlosion, Feraligator, Azumarill, Bastidon, Talonflame, Chargebug, Skeldurge. So those 10 are... Like, Skeldurge isn't even really in anymore either. Not that I got nerfed, but it's just not used as much anymore. So those are the 10 Pokemon that are out of Remix. So maybe Halloween Cup during that week will probably get more than the Great League equivalent, but... We'll see. Uh, anyways, comment below. Great League or Galar Cup or both. Also comment below. What's up? <laughs> Just tell me what's up. Um, hope everything is going well. Uh, and that is it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.